Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's get back to the table for normal goods and how the behaviour of households changes when their income increases. We'll start with the market demand table, which already tells us, given the current income of households, how many fried chicken pieces they intend to purchase at any price. Now, assuming that the income of households increases, what would happen to the quantity of fried chicken pieces demanded at a price of seven rand? As we've seen, if your average household can afford to buy more fried chicken pieces, they will. So let's say their market demand increases to 16 pieces, and at six rand, with their higher income, they might now buy 22 pieces, and so on. 